All right, did you guys hear about that uh, really famous pickle? I don't know, it was a real big deal around here. Dill, pickle. Okay, here we go. So today we are talking about, please work. There you go. Load. Jiggle the cable. There we go. Here we go. We're talking about straight line depreciation. Um, now, depreciation uh, is the opposite of appreciation. It's kind of, uh, it means that you're losing value over time. Okay. Things like cars depreciate, uh, things like clothes, you buy them for 50 bucks. And then if you try to resell it, it will cost less. Um, those are examples of depreciation. Okay. Loss of value. And the key thing here is it's over time. Okay. Now, um, what we're talking about today is a straight line depreciation. And I want you to think of this as it's the simple interest version of depreciation. Okay. So it's about as simple as it can get. Um, and you're losing the same amount every year. And if you watch the last video, you can find that if we're talking about straight line depreciation, I'll give you a clue. It's a straight line. Okay. It's a linear relationship as well. But this time it'll just be negative. Um, that's besides the point. Now, you're going to have this formula here, S equals to V0, take away DN. Uh, that there is going to be your straight line depreciation formula. Okay, now I know these are all letters that we haven't seen. We're used to I, P, R, and N. Um, but these ones here is similar, but we're going to talk about these things here. So S uh, stands for your salvage value, which means it's how much it's worth now. Um, it's what, what it's worth after all the time. Um, V0, um, I know that zero looks a little bit weird, um, but V0 means it's your value, but then when time equals zero, so that's where the zero comes from. So it's saying it's your initial value or it's your original value. D is probably the easy one, stands for depreciation. So you're going to lose a certain amount every time period. Um, that's your capital D. Uh, and then N uh, is probably the familiar one. That's going to be a number of time periods. Hmm. And again, there's lots of different ways to apply this formula, uh, but let's apply it to a question like this. I'm gonna write down the formula, S equals to V zero, take away DN, because I can see the word depreciates in the question, okay? Uh, now it says here, a brand new car worth $45,000 depreciates $3,000 per year. Find its value after six years. And again, you could have probably figured this out without a fancy formula. Um, but this is the formula for it to work. So I'm going to highlight a couple of things here so you can see if I want to find its value, that's me looking for the salvage value. If I'm talking about the six, that's me talking about the number of time periods. Um, seeing that I depreciate $3,000 a year, that's going to be my capital D. Uh, and then my initial value, that's how much it was originally. That's my V0. Okay, so putting that into the formula, let's just go straight for it. S equals, because I don't know what that is yet, but it's going to be V0, which is $45,000. Take away my depreciation, which is 3000 per year. But I'm going to multiply it by six years, because that's, uh, that's my DN. Okay, and that's going to end up becoming, you can use a calculator for this, or you can figure it out in your head. I'm going to try my best here. Um, 3,000 times six is 18,000. And that means 45,000 take away 18,000 is 27,000, I believe. So that means that is its value after six years. Um, and yeah, that there would be your answer. Okay. Again, I've picked a simple question. Not all questions will be like this, um, but this is just a great intro to it. All right. Catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye.